Well, hello everyone. This is Marianne here, Revealing Light, uh, Tarot, Astrology and Spirituality. I could do nothing else but come on, for even if it's just for a wee time, uh, to just to say how relieved and how happy I am that uh, the ex-president of the United States, Donald J. Trump, ha is a convicted felon. He's been found guilty on all counts, 34 counts. He will be sentenced in July. Um, now, I've been, uh, there's a couple of things I would say here uh, before I start. Um, I specifically want to look at the Republican reaction. Um, but uh, I've been saying since March, I went back and did a search that he'd be found guilty. Um, so it was always... It was always cut and dried. What I wasn't sure about if it, it would be if he was found guilty on all counts, certainly the business fraud, the major campaign viola violation charge, I thought, yes, absolutely. Now, I want to also uh, uh, point out that a very long time ago, a Queen of Cups arose probably around 2007, no, 2018, in relation to the person that would take Donald Trump down. She was a woman uh, or was women. Um, and so far, the accountability that we have seen, yes, I saw that orb, uh, is from uh, Miss Stormy, well, Miss Daniels, Miss Daniels, known as Stormy Daniels. Uh, she has managed to uh, bring bring this forward, bring these, uh, work with the DA, Alvin Bragg, to convict Trump. Among others, uh, there's been Michael Cohen, who uh, has faced, I think, tremendous, tremendous adversity. Um, it, but we have this conviction. Uh, Trump is now a convicted felon, uh, as we all knew. I mean, we all knew that he was a felon. We just needed uh, the word convicted um, before that word. Uh, and so now that's how we'll refer to him, convicted felon Donald, Tr Donald Trump. Uh, and we'll use his name now because that's what he is. Um, the second thing I would say also is that the other accountability from a woman has, uh, as a viewer rightly pointed out this morning to me, has been Miss E. Jean Carroll, who has found him liable of rape. Now, if in, in a civil court, if you look, there's been other women as well, Cassidy Hutchins, uh, tremendous testimony, uh, really, um, really nailed it on the January 6 uh, investigations. Um, and let's not forget uh, Republican Liz Cheney basically gave up her career to hold Trump accountable. And so uh, then we see the women's marches in 2017, 2018, 2018. We saw the massive, massive women mar women's marches. There are more women out there. And yes, I did say the apprentice years, the Roy Cohn years, the model agency years are going to come back and bite Donald Trump very, very severely. Uh, we're going to see that unfold as well. We now hear of uh, a movie uh, and of course that is uh, is going to be released called The Apprentice covering some of those years. Um, now, I want to also take you to, oh yes, and the other thing when uh, DA Alvin Bragg was getting hammered, hammered, hammered by people who had lost faith in him, I said, stay, stay true to this fellow. He's going to bring forward the justice for uh, convicted felon Trump. And that's exactly what he did. So huge shout out, not just to D.A. Bragg, who held the line. He got a conviction of the Trump Organization for business fraud. Uh, but also, um, and we should say the New York AG as well, Letitia James. But anyway, <laughs> I'm going on and on and on, aren't I? Um, well, it's one of those days. It's a good day. It's a good day for justice. Uh, you sit in this chair uh, and I sit along with you um, and it's been uh, frustrating and hard and uh, disappointing and despairing to see uh, to see what's gone on in the US but I do believe and I've said this repeatedly um, that this is the year of Donald convicted felon Donald Trump's downfall uh, and I'll keep saying that as well um, it'd be interesting at the RNC convention this conviction and it's not going to be overturned on appeal by the way he is free out on bail for at 
this time. Um, and I've seen that he will ultimately, I think, be sentenced to some kind of, it's not a prison environment that I see, uh, it's something something else. So I'm, I'm thinking things like house arrest or some kind of, uh, some kind of detention. That's going to be a huge decision for for um, for the judge. Uh, he could also face what we call in Australia uh, being put on a bond. Uh, for example, if you step out of line, then you know, uh, then you can go instantly to prison. So the the judge will work something out. But I, I mean, we'll check again. But I don't think it's a dozen here in my clairvoyance to be a mainstream prison. Okay, so um, what else? The RNC uh, convention, uh, there's a couple of things I want to say here too. I talk about the pictures that I see in my clairvoyance and I saw very strongly Nikki Haley moving in the cards. Now, ultimately she did very well. She did absolutely very well. And uh, for a time there, um, I think, these pictures indicated that she might end up being the Republican nominee. Well, of course, Donald Trump won won at the ballot box. But how's this going to pan out for the rest of the year? Anything can and could happen, and we're canvassing all possibilities here. Um, do I think Donald Trump's going to try his best to uh, to wage some sort of coup, which will fail? Absolutely. Whether he's a contender or not, he's uh, he's not going to go. Uh, quietly. So if you think that, then you're wrong. This person's not fading away. Um, we'll keep we'll keep hearing about him, unfortunately. So let's just one step at a time, one step at a time. Let's just see. I've got the Gilded Tarot. It's very early in the morning and very overcast. So I've opened up the curtains um, to bring in a bit of light. Uh, it's just a good day today. And if uh, something lifted my mood, it's definitely this. And I know you all out there are happy. Trolls aren't happy, but I don't know. I don't know. This uh, this was a jury. This was a, a rule of law. This points of law. This This is going to stand up on appeal. Absolutely. It's not, it's not going to be overturned. All right, let's have a look. Let's have a look. All right, so where will we start? Where will we start? Just some basic questions. And I really want to get on to the Republicans because I think that's where, that's where the, uh, the investigation should be. All right, so let's have a look. In fact, I'm going to go there. Okay, what will the Republicans start to move away from uh, convicted felon Trump? Will the Republicans start to move away from convicted felon Trump? Somebody's got, you know, the bomb things that they're pressing, like pressing down, like letting off a bomb. Well, I hope that's not metaphor. I hope that's metaphorical and not literal. But it was in response to my question of, about the Republican Party. Um, what what is somebody uh, planning? <laughs> um, let's have a look. Is the Republican Party going to stand behind convicted felon Donald Trump? The Republican Party going to stand behind convicted felon Donald Trump? Somebody's using a flashlight, searching in the dark here. What are they searching for? A pathway, <clears throat> a pathway forward. They can't. Maybe can't, some of them can't see that with him. Convicted felon Donald Trump of the Republican Party going to stand by him. All right, so uh, the Knight of Swords, the truth. Well, they're going to come out hard, obviously. They're going to come out hard. But then we get a new start. So the truth has changed. You remember, there's a there's always a compass here. There's all, okay, there's always a compass here. There's always a searching for alternative pathways. And I think this is what we're seeing. Um, at the higher level, and this is why uh, tarot cards are layered for me, um, and I see also that the truth is producing a new pathway forward for all of us. Um, and we get the Emperor card, okay, control the president. Okay, so there's, there's some uncomfortable truths here. 
Let's see what's in the past. Three of Cups, Circles of Support. That's in the past. That's in the past. And we already know that uh, there's anything from, you know, 20, 30% of Republicans in states where it's going to matter. Florida, for example, let's not forget the primaries, the closed primaries that don't support him. The chariot, something moving forward very, very quickly. Quick Quickness. And we get the seven of pentacles. If plan A doesn't work, we're going to try plan B. This is manifestation. It's like knowing we can't get to the harvest. And so we've got to change our strategy in order to reach the harvest. There's the hermit card in the here and now. That's what I saw, like isolation, looking for a pathway forward. Isolation and review and the atmosphere around the King of Pentacles. There are some Republicans today who are saying, no way. There are certain things a convicted felon can't do in the US. And uh, they're not compatible with presidential duties. Um, they're thinking about all this. Okay, and donations. Donations. You're donating to a convicted felon's campaign? It's like huge reality check here. Hopes and fears, heavy decisions and crossroads. And then we get the magician. Manifestation can be manipulation as well. What are they trying to manifest? Well, the four of pentacles. This is insecurity, clarifying that magician. They are unable to manifest what they want. And particularly, this is what's happening. Convicted felon Trump, amongst other things, uh, there was a uh, fraudulent nature to all these convictions, business fraud, is raid raiding the coffers and not leaving the money there for the candidates. The, the Republicans are now being devoured by the monster that they created. So we get a bold step. Someone's thinking about a bold step and we get the Page of Pentacles young people and then we get the queen of cups again women young people women there's the death card the end the downfall could be a literal one too when i get that when spirit says it's it's a cert i'll let you know but we are continually drawing the death card the end is in sight we have hope and we have the Ace of Pentacles. This is in relation to the RNC and we get the Apprentice card there. King of Swords, Logic. And then we get a new plan. Don't take it for granted that his own party are not going to... Well, let's just take it one step at a time. Watch that RNC convention July the 15th. I've done that chart. Go back and have a look at it. We have the potential release of the Apprentice film, video film, that I saw someone may have. There's more to come around Epstein and the release of those files in Florida. Don't take it for granted that very powerful sections of the Republican Party may not want to finish Donald Trump off themselves because he is now the monster they created, devouring them. All right, now to the trial-specific the trial specific uh, questions, and then we'll finish up. Okay, trial-specific questions. Trial-specific questions. Okay, so let's phone in. All right, sentencing. Let me get Michonne right in my third eye. Judge Michonne, Judge Michonne, what are you going to do? He's, he's already thinking about it. He's, he, whatever he comes up with will be uh, impeccable, as has his conduct of the trial, a very extraordinarily unprecedented, difficult trial. Uh, this person knows what he's doing. Um, it's weighed, it's taken him a long time to come to where, wherever he's come to. The decision is come to or will come to. Are you going to sentence 
Trump to a jail? Are you going to sentence Trump to a jail? So we have the uh, Six of Cups, the past, and moderation. Yeah. No, I didn't think so. It's not going to be that extreme. Here we have the Queen of Cups coming through again. Don't you just love her? Uh, we have the Ace of Pentacles in the past. There, there those, There's fines there. I think he's going to deal with the gap, breaching of the gag orders financially. I think there, there's... I think there's something more on that. There's financial penalties here as well. We get the hangman pausing and suspending something. And we get the four of wands. Um, home, family. Uh, I think it's a home detention. King of Cups, he's well aware. Well, he is the King of Cups. He's well aware this is an election year. He's currently the candidate. I think it's some kind of detention. Nine of Pentacles could be a combination. I don't even know if it, that he can f impose monetary fines, but I think he there's some way that he does that. Knight of Pentacles, consistency. He's got to be consistent with the law. And then we get the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, that's home and domestic stuff. It's um, having everything you need. I, I, the point is here are to ho home, some sort of home detention. The Devil card. The Devil card. There's a, there's a lot around money here in the Knight of Swords, the truth. Um, there she is, or he is, and the fool again. Yeah, look, um, I don't think it's a jail sentence. Uh, what I'm seeing is some kind of, I don't know, even know if they can do a financial penalty uh, or whether that's attached to the gag orders that he kept breaking. But I do see financial stuff in here, um, and I do see a possible home detention um, or if it's not home, some somewhere that he's detained. I think the sentencing guidelines are anything up to four years, or he can decide not to not to send him, not to do anything with him, but impose a monetary fine. So I don't think it's the Riker's option. All right. So um, what else do we want to know? Just uh, he'll appeal it, and yes, he is out on bail. He doesn't necessarily. Uh, be incarcerated, wasn't incarcerated straight after the guilty verdict. Uh, this is a, a convicted felon who also happens to be an ex-president. Shame on those that got us into this situation. All right, so will his appeal be successful? I heard a pretty strong no. Will his appeal be successful? <laughs> I'm not going any further. <laughs> Interesting, the tower came up, uh, which which partially led me to think, yeah, well, okay, so, yeah, there's the jurors as well. Uh, I'll leave that for another day. L look, it's a no. I don't need to go any further. His appeal won't be successful. Um, there is more on this historic day than what we all all know. There are layers and layers and layers and layers of... of uh, consequences, outcomes, pathways, change. Uh, this is uh, this is a very historic day, hence why I've rallied. Sorry about the lighting. It's very overcast here. Um, but there you have it. I'm just going to leave it there. I'm just going to say congratulations to uh, DA Alvin Bragg. You came through uh, and you faced a lot. You faced a lot. Congratulations to his excellent team. I think that Manhattan DA's office team uh, ought to win some kind of legal award, whatever the equivalent of that is, because by golly, they ran a tight case. Um, congratulations to all the witnesses, Cohen, for for bearing up in the way that he did. Um, congratulations, of course, to Miss Daniels, and I hope she's safe. We'll, we'll look at the jury and the fallout later on next week. Um, and yeah, congratulations to New York. You didn't hold him to account for decades and decades, but you certainly, you certainly have done so now. Um, yeah. And the witnesses and the jury, the jury, what a hard job they had, but all they had to do was follow the law. 
all they had to do was follow the law. Okay, bye for now.